Olivia Benson. I never thought we'd meet. Mrs. Stabler, thank you for coming. Oh, Bernie, please. I haven't been Mrs. Anything for an awfully long time. What can I get for you, hon? I'll just have some water, please. Well, I can see why you scare the pants off at Kathy. I was always grateful that there weren't women in the department in my day. Of course, Joe made do with chasing nurses. Thank you. And does he ever talk about me? Uh, today was the first time. I've always thought that, uh... I was dead. Yeah, my boy plays it pretty close to the best. Gets that from his father. I wanted to talk to you about... First, let, let me show you something, okay? There. <laughs> That was the Thanksgiving Day pageant. It was a carrot. Yeah, I made that myself out of orange felt and green feathers. I remember his father saying, well, at least he's not a fruit. The youngest picture I've ever seen of Elliot is the day he entered the academy. That's because he's erased his childhood. See, I, I made certain choices. And I lost my son. Thank you for showing me photos. Oh, it was, it was selfish. I just needed you to know. Know what? That I tried to be a good mother. Elliot is a good man. And I know him well enough to know that he didn't get it from his father. Thank you for that, dear. See, he was always embarrassed about my flamboyance. He would have liked a more conventional mother. So you were always different. Yeah. My mother used to call me a flippity gibbet. <laughs> I've been accused of being impulsive, irresponsible, flighty, and those are just the G-rated words. But you never saw a doctor? In my day, eccentricity was, was tolerated. You know, now they've got a pill for everything. Did you ever try medication? Once. I, um, I had a fight with Joe. <laughs> and his gun went off. He had me committed. And they tied me down and they forced pills down my throat. I felt like an empty shell. Like someone had reached inside of me and scooped out my soul. And I would rather be dead than go to that place again. You know? So, I mean, I, I am what I am. I accept myself and I live life on my own terms. But you pay pretty steep price. Yeah, well, maybe I do. But it's my life. And I'm not going to go parading myself in front of some court and announce to the world <laughs> that I'm crazy. But would you do it for your granddaughter? 